talking all along. Uh, let's go over to our colleague Arunima. Arunima, the space sector being a sector that the entire country can align on, that there shouldn't be any political divisions on, that is messaging that we've seen come in uh, from the PMO, from the BJP over the last few months too. Now, the Prime Minister, if this is what the Prime Minister is announcing about, him making this kind of announcement just a few weeks before election, an issue and a story in a sector that could unite the entire country, how do the optics play out? How do you see this? The space sector is something that is directly under the Prime Minister's office. So it makes more sense logically for him to speak on that. Uh, you know, Minister of uh, State for Prime Minister's office, Dr. Jitendra Singh, is the minister in charge for all uh, the skills and technology related departments. So it makes sense for the Prime Minister to actually come and address the nation ahead of the by election. There are tremendous leaps that the country has made as far as the space sector is concerned. Gaganyan test pilots have their credentials have just been announced as usual by that there were, there were two successful missions. One, uh, the other uh, sun mission, the other, uh, the, the mission that, that uh, got us uh, to the moon. Uh, and, and both were very successful missions there. So the Prime Minister taking this moment ahead of Lok Sabha elections, he is on the screen of reminding voters in this country what all he can do. He voted back a third term. He has a clear agenda in mind as far as the economy is concerned, as far as other departments of the country are concerned. Space figures prominently in that. So there is a possibility that the Prime Minister could take the nation into confidence as far as his vision for the Aruma, thank you for bringing us that context. We're just bringing our audiences more context on what exactly that notification is. We'll go over to uh, more of our colleagues. Our colleague Aman is with us. Aman, I just want to tell our audiences, I believe we can share the big news with our audiences. We've just gotten it. The Prime Minister tweeting out, he said, I'm proud of our DRDO. Uh, DRDO is, of course, the Defence and Research Development Organisation. He said, we're proud of our scientists for Mission Divyastra, the first flight test of indigenously developed Agni-5 missiles with multiple independent independently targetable re-entry vehicles, MIRV technology. Aman, for our audiences that are uninitiated, why is this so exciting for the country? Well, uh, the Prime Minister just put out this uh, tweet, Toya, just a minute back, saying that we are proud of our DRDO scientists for Mission Divyastra, the first flight test of the indigenously developed Agni-5 missile, you know, with multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle technology. So, Agni-5 missile, we all know as our indigenously developed uh, Indian missile and the DRDO has been developing that and uh, the, the Prime Minister is saying this is Mission Divyastra. Of course, we are waiting more details on what exactly the feat which has been uh, achieved by the government but the Prime Minister putting out this tweet and we are awaiting his, uh, if he will speak to the nation also and exp uh, explain more about this but the tweet that has come from the Prime Minister just a minute back that the Prime Minister is saying that the DRDO scientists have, uh, 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 have achieved Mission Divyastra, the first flight test of the indigenously developed Agni-5 missile. Just, Aman, just stay with us. We're also waiting for more reporters to join us over here to bring us more context. We're telling our audiences a little bit more about uh, Agni-5. Let's just go over to our colleague Payal to get more context on the Agni-5 missile itself, the mission Divyastra. And that's, that's where I really want to come to you, Payal. Uh, we're awaiting this announcement. We can expect the Prime Minister also to come live and address a video message on this shortly. Is that also going to take place? Uh, well, that is going to certainly take place because that's the, what the Prime Minister's office has sent us a message saying that the Prime Minister is going to speak in a bit from now. And like we were reporting earlier, Toya, it's too difficult to actually judge and probably make an announcement as to what Prime Minister Modi is going to say. But it looks, looks like he's going to tell the nation about the achievements uh, of India in the space sector. He's been, sub, sub, uh, he's been somebody who's constantly been in touch with the space uh, organizations. He's been touching with, with the youth, with the scientists. In particular, he's encouraged the youth to take up this as a mission as a livelihood because this is a huge uh, sector which remains unexplored because the previous governments did not have the kind of a, a lookout, did not have the kind of a vision as far as this entire issue is concerned. But here you are, achievements after achievements and you know like we were reporting earlier that Chandrayaan has been a huge success. The Indian government has also announced a number of other missions uh, and of course like Arunima was reporting the space and research organization and the space ministry essentially uh, reports to the prime minister directly as well. Jitendra Singh is the nodal minister as far as that is really concerned. So we'll have to just wait and see what the announcement really is. But you know, what the Prime Minister really strikes very beautifully is the connect with people. You know, all of us are talking about these technical terms, but the Prime Minister has this beautiful ability to explain to people in the simplest of terms what this mission really means, what it means for the country, how, can, how it can take India forward, how it can put India on the global map. With Chandrayaan's success, India probably is only looking at inching higher and higher. And the ISRO scientists, the DRDO, 
who has who has developed various technologies uh, is taking it is taking leaps by uh, is taking the movement forward by leaps and bounds and that is something we are expecting the prime minister to throw more light on simplify the message tell the people of the country especially the youth what this means for them what are the future uh, you know prospects that are going to be highlighted for them so all of these things are keenly awaited it's a very very technical issue to talk about because you know there are people who've been researching and doing work on this for years and decades together and it's not something which the common man really associates with a lot of the common man really understands with but the youth of the country which is shown keen interest on such technologies use of our space research technologies use of artificial intelligence a uh, use of the internet available tools and all of the technologies that are available uh, the fact also remains that yes india is taking that stride really forward so let, without second guessing let's still wait for the prime minister to make that announcement and tell the people of the country okay. as to what this really means what this technology really means how it's going to help india achieve its goal faster